Hi, I'm Dr. Tor Knoz. Follow me. Today we're going to look at how to maintain the water heater. A water heater is a, just basically a tank full of water. And it'll typically last from 10 to 15 years. The better you maintain it, the longer it's going to last. One of the big issues with water heaters is the kind of water you have. Do you have hard water or do you have soft water? Does it take a lot of soap when you're washing your hands in order for it to lather up and does it seem to rinse off very quickly or does it take a small amount of soap and you end up having to rinse your hand a long time in order to feel like the soap is gone. On the first one we talked about where it takes lots of soap, that is typically an indication of hard water. Hard water means there's lots of minerals in the water. And what happens is, is as the water gets heated, those minerals uh, precipitate out and collect at the bottom of the water heater and needs to be drained out. If you live in an area that has hard water, i.e. you use a lot of soap when you're washing your hands, then we're going to drain, drain the tank every year. If the water is soft, you can probably go every five years, or in many cases, the water is very soft, you can go the whole life of the water heater and not drain it at all. So, let's talk about how we're going to drain the water heater. First of all, we want to turn off the heat to the water heater. If we got a gas water heater, you will basically turn it off at the control, and then also works very well, you just go ahead and turn the gas cock off. That way you know there's no gas going to it. And you can actually take the cover off, you can look inside, and you can see whether there is a flame or not. If there's no flame, that's good. If you have an electric water heater, then there will probably be an electrical box somewhere around the water heater that you open the box off and turn the power off or pull a circuit breaker out. You can also go to your electric panel and one of them will be marked on the side with water heater. And again, you can trip that, you can trip it, the circuit breaker off, and that way you know there's no power going to the water heater. If you don't want to have time to let it cool off, you can go upstairs, turn on a faucet in the house, and just go ahead and let the water run until the water cools down Turn the hot water faucet off upstairs, come down, and you'll have on one side of the water heater, you'll have a large valve. You will turn that valve off. To make sure that it is off, go back to the hot water faucet and make sure that no water comes out. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and drain the water. Obviously, we do not want to drain it on the floor, so we're going to have to put a hose on it. I'm going to get screws on here. On the other end of the hose, when we're draining the water heater, we need to take it outside. Remember, when you take it outside, you're going to have, we're going to be draining about 40 to 50 gallons of water. So make sure that you take it someplace where it's not going to do any damage. We just open the valve, and then we're going to open the temperature and pressure in these valves and leave it open. And what will happen then is it will allow air to get into the tank as the water is being drained out. And it'll take probably about 15 minutes or so until all the water is drained out of the tank. Close the valve here. Then you can take off the hose. You're closed here. Now what we need to do is we need to go back on and turn on that hot water faucet. What that's going to do is going to the tank is now full of air. So as we fill the, the tank with water, we have to displace the air and let it go someplace. Now we're back up to the cold water valve. We're going to turn on the cold water valve. And then water, you will hear water rushing into the tank. And it'll take several minutes for it to fill back up again. And you know that it's going to be full when water from that hot water valve, hot water faucet, water is coming out freely without any air in it. Once the tank is full, now we can go ahead and turn the gas back on we can turn the valve back on again. We can light the, uh, the uh, flame in the water heater, set the temperature you want, go ahead and let it heat up for an hour, and you're ready to go for another year.